Okay, so in this question, Melissa and Neural had a total of 106 beads. Melissa used three times as many beads as Neural to make some bracelets. The number of beads Neural had left was 12 more than what she had used. She had twice as many beads left as compared to Melissa. The question asks, how many beads did Melissa have at first? Now, let's break this up part by part. Don't get confused by the words and, and they use three times as many beads. Let's take it line by line and write down exactly what they want. So this is another example of an unequal sharing. Okay, Unequal sharing is where one person gets more than the other out of some total amount okay and let's see we, they're talking about using some beads right and they're talking about beads that were left okay so let's see we have Melissa right so let's write down let's write down Melissa let's use M-E-L for Melissa and we have neural let's use N-U for neural okay and we're going to talk about first what they used okay so what Melissa used and what Neural used hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly right let's put in the figures so Melissa used and Neural used okay M Melissa used three times as many beads as Neural so whatever Neural used all right it is Melissa used three times of the same amount that Neural used. All right. What else did they say? All right. So then they talk, started to talk about what they had left. All right. So let's see. Melissa left and what Neural left with. Okay. And let's try to put in some figures. The number of beads Neural had left was 12 more than what she had used. Okay, let's take let's take a look at that question. Neural was left with 12 more than what she had used. So this is what Neural used, right? So what she had left is 12 more than what she used, which is that one little sum amount there. Okay? Right, so we have that right she had twice as many beads left as compared to Melissa so if Neural had two times twice as many beads as left as Melissa it means that Melissa was left with half of what Neural had okay so we have half of what Neural was left with Okay, half of this plus half of this, which is six. Okay. Okay, so we include that. Did we use the 106? No. So let's see. The question asks, how many beads did Melissa have at first? All right. So we didn't use the 106. So let's use that now. If they had a total of 106 beads altogether, it means that this 106 beads is what they used plus what was left okay now let's let's add up these boxes we have one two three four five holes and a half okay so we have five shares five sorry five and a half shares okay five and a half right five and a half shares plus six plus this 12 okay and all this is equal to 106 all right so our five and a half shares plus 6 plus 12 will give us 18. Alright. So, 
let's take away this 18 from this 106 all right so your five and a half boxes or shares right 106 minus 18 will give us 88 all right now let's find how much one share is one whole share all right one whole share would be if five and a half shares is is 88 then 88 of the whole right five and a half as an improper fraction is five twos are ten plus one eleven over two okay right so we invert the fraction right you will get eight two eights are sixteen so one of these boxes all right represents 16 beads all right so this here is 16 beads 16 beads all right each one of these is 16 now this is half of 16 so what is half of 16 8 all right and this here is 16 beads okay now let's see we use the 106 did we answer the question? No. How many beads did Melissa have at first? Alright. Now, Melissa had, right, is what she used and what she left. Okay. What Melissa had at the beginning is what she used plus what was left. Okay. What she used was three 16 parts okay plus what was left was 8 plus 6 right all right so 3 multiplied by 16 will give us 48 all right 8 and 16 will give us 14 so what Melissa had all right at the beginning at first is 62 beats.